Hi guys. It's Kay Lazarus. I got my little Caesars hat on. I wanted to talk to you guys about worldly love. We understand in the Bible that it talks about uh, love not the world. And I want to talk to you about Christ-like love. Godly love. I guess we can start the bad news and then with the good news. The bad news is that there's a lot of idols in this life. There's a lot of strongholds that Satan uses to keep us bound up from things that really matter in this life. The good news is that God sent his son to break us free from all of that and all we have to do is read his word and follow it to be set free from it. So I'm going to start out with the bad news obviously like I said. Alright, we got, let's see. What do people like to do these days? They like to drink. They like to do drugs. They like to watch football <clears throat> okay I'm gonna stop with those three and I'm gonna just explain a few things that all these things are produced and uh, put in front of our face on a regular basis through media music uh, television all sorts of stuff like that and um, it's because we adhere to these things because we, our thoughts are focused upon these things that we engage in these activities. <clears throat> when if our thoughts were focused on the Word and doing what God told us to do, we could be set free and live a much happier, healthier life. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. We were at three. Let's see, football, I guess sports, um, smoking and drinking and video games and um, all these things are promoted through world, through the through the worldly things, okay. Um, not to mention, if you turn on the TV, you're going to see Jesus being bashed constantly. The world and Jesus are constantly at c conflicting one another. Like I said, the word obviously states this too. So there's one prophecy already fulfilled. Um. As you might have guessed, the world absolutely hates me doing this right now. Um, uh, but what I want to do is I want to go back to the strongholds that I was talking about. Um, he literally just grabs you and sucks you in to whatever he can. Satan is the thief. He takes you away from the truth, as I have already stated. But this was prophesied hundreds of years before by Jesus' very words that this stuff would happen. Uh, or that it is. That it is the way that it is. Um, he, he's the thief. He came to st kill, steal, and destroy. What does he do? He kills us spiritually. He steals the truth away from us, which is God's word, by the media and the worldly things that introduce things to us that are appealing to our carnal nature, our flesh, our, you know, because we, what we are is we are, we are, this flesh, it's, 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 it's our vehicle, it gets us around, and um, the God, God's, the way we are God's children is through his breath, he breathed, he breathed into Adam's nostrils and man became a living form. Go read Genesis. I formed a guy, a man from the ground. And Jesus was like, behold, I cast Satan out of heaven and fell like lightning to the earth. But anyway, that's, that's a whole nother topic. <clears throat> um, our, our insight is directly from God. That's what I'm trying to explain. We, we are... Uh,
I don't want to stray away from the topic. We got Jesus, we got the Word, we got carnal nature, and we got spiritual nature. Galatians 5 explains about carnal nature and spiritual nature, both of them, and what the fruits are that they produce. Jesus talks a lot about how uh, people are fruits and how uh, uh, certain people produce certain kinds of fruits. And there's only two kinds of fruits. There's corrupt fruit and then there's, there's righteous fruit. I mean to flick anybody off. Um, so what we want to do is we want to stay in the Word. And this love that God, that God gives us, it, it's, it's, a, it's a love that helps us to take care of our family, our, our loved ones, our, the people that we are close to, to take care of the uh, utensils that we actually do need in order to help us survive and make life, you know, work out well for our loved ones and our family. Um, and to do this, God has given us a manual to do this. There's only one manual. Well, there's several different manuals because in Genesis 11, God obviously separated all the languages. But it's all, it all came from the Word. And in the beginning, the Word was with God, and God was the Word. So what we need to do is listen to His Word in order to make, make this love that we are speaking about come, come fully to light. All right, so God-like love, Christ-like love, um, God-like love is going to help you take care of your wife or your girlfriend if you stay in the Word. If you stay in Jesus' Word, you have to dedicate yourself to it. Um, it will help you break a drug habit. It will help you take care of your girlfriend. It will get you out of things that aren't healthy for your relationships and get you into things that make you love each other more than you ever thought you possibly could. Um, I guarantee you this. I guarantee you this because Myself, I have been, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my video about uh, when I became a Christian until now, but uh, that explains a lot. I was in a relationship and uh, <clears throat> it was a horrible, horrible, horrible breakup. And God was, uh, God led me to him through that. And uh, I let her know that. The reason I was messing up, or we were messing up our relationship, was because I was putting her before I was supposed to put God. And uh, I hope that touches somebody's heart so that they can open up the love letter that God wrote to you so that you can share love more abundantly.